Hey guys, we're out here at the Anwak National Wildlife Refuge in Oyster Bayou, and there is, I don't know, 10, 20 gar right here feeding on these huge schools of baby shad that are being pulled out of that marsh. I'm going to throw a, a lure in there and see if we can't have a little fun. You like that, huh? Okay guys, this is about a 28, 29 inch gar. It's the one I caught earlier on film down at the refuge. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to clean a gar so that you can get to that beautiful white roast that's right here in this region right here. There's a couple ways to do this. I'm gonna use a really cheap electric knife. Another way to do it would be to take a hammer, which we might have to resort to in a minute. We'll see how this goes first. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this top layer off right here so that we can peel down the sides. So let's give this a shot. And that's not going to work. That's what we're looking for right there. <clears throat> All right. Now that we're at this stage, take a fillet knife out and we'll begin the filleting process, which is basically to very simply peel off this layer from that meat. As you can see, it's beautiful white meat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the ribs and we're going to remove this really big pretty fillet right here. And so my friends, the next time that somebody tells you gar is a trash fish or that you got to make gar balls or that gar is nothing but a bunch of bone, they don't know what they're talking about. Because look at that. That is a beautiful white filet. Gar are actually a very good fish to eat. It's a shame that so many people just kill them and throw them on the bank. 
I used to be one of those people until a good friend of mine, John Mooney, Coonass, here in Southeast Texas, he actually showed me the right way. And so there you go. That's how you clean a gar, and it ain't that hard. Learn something new every day with Chambers Wild, don't you? Hope you enjoyed.